Hey everyone, this is Sean and in today's video I am going to be talking about the ultimate list of accessories for the Microsoft Surface Book, in this case Surface Book 2, and the Microsoft Surface Pro, Surface Pro 3, Surface Pro 4, Surface Pro 2017, and there are a lot of things to cover. In fact, I don't even know where to begin. Okay, so this is a portable USB powered uh, monitor. Uh, this particular one is by AOC. If you want a, a link to this, as well as all the other accessories, those are all in my video description. Uh, it's got a really nice kickstand over here for multiple different viewing angles. Uh, it works both vertically as well as horizontally. And there are no batteries. It does not need to be charged. All you have to do is simply just plug it into the USB. On the other end, just plug it into the USB port of your laptop or device. Bam! So that automatically just works right away. I can actually just drag it across and you can see that works beautifully. Okay, so just as an example, I'm showing this running on a Surface Pro 4. In my experience, this uses very, very little battery. The brightness is sufficient for day-to-day -day use. Uh, and the resolution's not too bad for a second monitor. That said, I do regret a little bit not buying the higher resolution one. This one has a 1366 by 768 resolution. It's great, I can still be very productive on there. That said, if I could go back and get another one, I would probably get the 1080p model with IPS display. Asus has a really nice one. This one's made by AOC. This one was a little bit under $100, but I love, I absolutely love taking my portable monitor with me and being able to do work, being able to uh, just have that in my bag. Okay, so if you've been watching my videos for a while, you know that I highly recommend uh, getting a micro SD card. So you can see here, I've got a micro SD card for my Surface. These come in all sorts of sizes now. In this case, this is 128 gigabytes. I know you can get 256. I think I even heard that now they've got 512 gigabyte uh, micro SD cards out. Now, unfortunately for the Surface Book, the Surface Book doesn't take uh, micro SD cards. It takes regular SD cards, uh, which you can put in the side here, but it sticks out. So even if you did have an, uh, an SD card adapter, it would still stick out a little bit, which maybe is not the end of the world, but I like to keep my SD cards permanently in my devices to use as extra storage for stuff like OneDrive or video or stuff that you don't need to access all too often. And for that, I highly recommend the Base QI is a special micro SD adapter that is absolutely beautiful. Uh, so you can see here, I've got 128 gigabyte uh, micro SD card which I can put in here. It's got a really nice aluminum finish and perfectly fits flush against the Surface Book. And taking it out is easy too. You can just use your fingernail and just pop it right out and it works really, really good. So I highly recommend this uh, base QI and you can see it does not stick out at all. Now, for those of you with a Surface Pro 3 or Surface Pro 4 or even the new Surface Pro, and you're wanting to get a Surface Book, but the Surface Book might be a little bit out of your price range, uh, you can spend just a little more money and get something called the Bridge, okay? The Bridge essentially converts your Surface into a laptop. It's got a battery that lasts for several months. You stick the Surface into it, and all of a sudden you have a laptop experience uh, with your Surface Pro 3 or Surface 4. It goes all the way down and has many, many different angles, continuous angles. It does a great job of turning your Surface Pro 4 into something that feels more like a laptop. The trackpad is a little bit smaller than the uh, stock uh, trackpad from the Surface Pro 4. You definitely feel the difference there in the size. Uh, but other than that, you know, it feels really good and you get all the benefits of having a laptop. Of course, whenever you want it to be a Surface again, uh, you can just take that out of there and you've got the, the famous kickstand from the Surface, which I love. I've got to admit, you know, I do love my Surface Book 2. Uh, you know, you just, you can't beat the power on this guy and the size of the screen, but I definitely have a special place in my heart 
for the, for the original Surface design with the kickstand. Okay, and of course this wouldn't be one of my accessory videos if I didn't talk about a portable DVD drive. Now as of this video, the CDs and DVDs are pretty much dead uh, technology. That said, for those of us who still hold out and still have old uh, DVDs and CDs and stuff, uh, having these around uh, just in case is, uh, it's not necessarily a bad thing. Now what I love about the Surface Book 2 and the Surface Pro is that the trackpads are always top notch. They support gestures, they're nice and big, really nice and smooth. That said, sometimes you just can't beat the precision and productivity of an actual mouse. Uh, and for that, I really enjoy using the Microsoft Designer mouse uh, because this is completely Bluetooth powered, so it does not require a, an extra USB port. Plus, not to mention, it's really small. Uh, I can't even remember when's the last time I changed the battery in this. Uh, super, super nice. Uh, many, many different mice options out there, but I definitely highly recommend getting a Bluetooth mouse because those USB ports are precious and if you don't have to deal with them, that is a plus. Okay, so what I have here is my Netgear wireless display. This, man, this guy has been around for a long time. I've used these since my earliest, earliest video days and it's still going strong. That said, nowadays I do actually recommend using the Microsoft uh, branded wireless display adapter uh, because it works a lot better. Okay, and of course, uh, using a pen with a Surface device is a no-brainer. And if you do have a pen, picking up one of these is probably one of the least expensive accessories you can buy. So you can have some soft tip styles, some wide styles, and so forth. And this really helps with precision. Not only that, but sometimes if you use your pen extensively, they tend to get worn out. And this is a great way to easily replace the pen tip on your Surface pen. Okay, so if you're actually wanting to plug into an external monitor, you've got several different options depending on what device you have. If you have this Surface Book uh, 2, then you're gonna wanna use something with USB-C. Uh, there are USB-C based adapters. Or if, of course, if you have the Surface Pro, such as the Surface Pro 4, 4, 3, uh, then you have the mini display port. So you wanna make sure you get the right adapter for your device. Now I've got another video where I go into this with more detail, but not all adapters are created equal. So you see this one is, seems like they're virtually identical. Uh, from a single mini display port, you can have VGA out, HDMI out, and mini display port out. However, these are actually different because this device supports 4K output. Okay, whereas this one does not. This would max out at 1080p. Now, this becomes really important in a, in a moment when I talk about mixed reality headsets because mixed reality headsets will not be compatible unless you have at least a 4K uh, out. So here's an example of another one. This is just an HDMI out. Uh, this has 4K capabilities. Uh, so you wanna make note of that. Uh, the same is true when you are using USB-C based adapters, okay? So this is a USB-C adapter with a VGA out, a HDMI out, as well as a DVI out. Now this is special because it also has a USB port. So it gives you an extra, the Surface Book 2 already has two USB ports, but by plugging in this USB-C port, you can now get an extra uh, USB port. So this is a really cool device. Links to all of these are in my video description. If you wanna see where to buy them or to get the links to all, do check out my video description. Now, if you are wanting to run mixed reality, which again, I'm gonna talk about, then you actually want to get the Microsoft branded adapter. As far as I know, all adapters on the market right now max out at full resolution, but only 60 frames per second. If you wanna get the full 90 frames per second, as far as I know right now, this is your only option, is this Microsoft branded USB-C to HDMI adapter, and this gives you the full 90 frames per second experience you need for uh, mixed reality devices. Right now, we're just talking about the Surface Book 2, okay, with the USB-C uh, capabilities. Now, of course, if you're wanting to get a little bit more beefy, there are plenty of other options. I've reviewed this device in a previous video of mine. You can see here, this is USB and, this is USB and mini display port, and it fits really nicely in the Surface Pro 4 over here. 
and gives you stuff like uh, Ethernet, it gives you DisplayPort, HDMI, USB, uh, audio output, and so forth. Uh, so this is an example of kind of a, a really lightweight uh, docking station over here. Uh, my personal favorite is actually this uh, docking station. This is pluggable. Man, I've got, I've had this for years and this is a real workhorse. It's got audio out, it's got powered USB uh, 3.0s out, ton of USB cables. It's got uh, ethernet and, and so forth. And you can actually daisy chain multiple monitors together. You can have many, many different monitors. Uh, this, because it is old, it doesn't support 4K, but I'm sure if you look around now, you'll be able to find plenty of 4K options. Uh, something very similar to this docking station uh, is this guy. Again, this is something I've reviewed as well. There are links uh, to my video description. Uh, it, again, a, a really nice docking station that really extends the power of your device. And then of course there are the Microsoft branded docking stations which give you um, extra power but they do cost a little bit more. If you're wanting to expand your, your capabilities but not have something too hefty, you can even get something like this uh, USB port. Uh, they even come in USB-C for the Surface Book 2 where it gives you multiple uh, USB outs and even an ethernet in case you need to go to a hotel or need to plug in to a wired uh, ethernet connection. So plenty of options available to people who want to really expand their device. All right, so now let's talk about power and batteries. This is the QI Infinity Battery Pack. I have done an extensive review on this. Be sure to check out my video. Now, uh, it, this works great for the Surface Pro 4, the new Sur the Surface Pro 3, the new Surface Pro as a portable battery pack that charges your device. Now, as far as I know, this does not work for the Surface Book 2. That said, the Surface Book 2 is unique because number one, it's got a huge battery in the base plus uh, the battery in the screen. So between those two batteries, it actually lasts for a fairly long time. I've never had the need for a portable charger for this. That said, there is a secret. You can actually charge the Surface Book using the USB-C port. Uh, so you can actually get a USB-C charger. There are plenty on Amazon. Check out my video description for links. If you try to use just any old uh, battery bank, I will warn you, it will not charge because it does need a certain threshold of power to charge. Now, something that I love doing is actually uh, charging the surface while I'm driving in the car. So this is something really cool. This is just kind of a cup holder that you can put in. Uh, you just plug it into your 12 volt outlet in the car and then you can just charge up your device while you're driving and of course there's a USB port there where you can uh, charge up a USB device or keep your phone plugged in. Uh, of course, you know, they've got miniature ones as well where you can just plug it directly into your 12 volt outlet of the car and then you can have kind of a 120, 110, 120 outlet to charge up your devices. I've been super impressed at the battery life of the Surface Book 2. In fact, I haven't felt this good about battery life on Surface devices since my Surface 2 RT with the power cover. That's when I was like super happy and I finally reached that point of battery happiness again with the Surface Book 2 and how long this thing lasts. Great, great battery life on this. Okay, next I wanna talk about my favorite bag for the Surface Pro. This is called the Netsack. It is super, super nice, very premium leather. It's got a really nice kind of hipster uh, feel to it. Very premium feel. Uh, I don't know why, but it just feels really nice. It's got a really nice zipper here where you can put in your pen, where you can put in your charger. And then of course, it just has a, a perfect spot for uh, your Surface device uh, to go in there. It smells really nice. It's got a, a really convenient compartment. So I've taken this on me with travels. I, I go to places like, when I, when I travel to places like Dubai or when I go around locally or to the coffee shop, I take this with me. And this is by far my favorite bag to carry my Surface Pro in. Okay, now I will say that I've not yet found my favorite bag for the Surface Book 2. It is a massive, massive device that, uh, that most of my bags that I have don't really fit quite well. So that said, I have a call for recommendations. If you have any recommendations for a good bag for the Surface Book 2, 
please let me know. I'm happy to make a uh, video review about it, uh, but I have not yet found a, a suitable bag for my Surface Book 2. The last accessory I wanna talk about is Windows Mixed Reality. These are kind of the next generation of computing devices. It allows you to kind of transport yourself into a different world and do a whole bunch of crazy stuff. To be honest, I could talk about this for a long, long time, so I won't spend too much time in this video, but suffice it to say, this is where the future is headed. It's lots of fun, it's pretty amazing. There are lots of different headsets and lots of different options to choose from. Uh, just remember, if you are trying to run this on the Surface Book 2, I highly recommend you use the Microsoft branded display adapter so that you can achieve the maximum level of performance. Now you'll notice with these headsets, these are tethered to your machine. And so you might think, okay, how, you know, how far can I go? You can actually use something like this. This is a, a meshed backpack. Now you can check out my video description. Uh, this allows you to place your device in this and wear it around so you can actually walk around uh, in your experience and not necessarily be tethered to one place. I would say that for most experiences, you probably need a powerful enough device. So Surface Book 2, anything less than that, uh, you might run into problems. The Surface Pro 4, I would say, can barely handle it. Same with the Surface Pro, or even some of the lower models of the Surface Book 2. So uh, that is something to consider if you are trying to run mixed reality, especially uh, some of the more heavy experiences. All right, so there you have it. That was my ultimate accessories video. There's so many more things that I wanted to talk about, but I didn't wanna make this video too long. Feel free to check out my video description for a few extra links uh, to things that I didn't get to talk about in this video. And if you have any questions or any comments or even any suggestions, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, do give it a like, uh, do subscribe if you haven't already, and thank you very much for watching. Okay, so for those of you who waited to the very end for the giveaway, thank you so much. First of all, you saw the Glory Day shirt I was wearing at the very beginning. Uh, there is a special promotion feel free to enter in the code as you see it below or check out my video description to get 20% off your order. Really, really amazing line. It's got a really nice motorcycle style culture and design. So definitely check out the, check out the website that's shown below, enter in the coupon code. And for the giveaway, 